This is a toolmaker's microscope. It has a 10 power eyepiece and the eyepiece has a crosshair inside it. The crosshair is used, is used for measuring. You line up the crosshair with the specimen and you use your manual micrometers to move in the X and Y direction and you measure off how far you've traveled in the X and Y direction by using the crosshair on the specimen and knowing X travel and knowing Y travel distance. You also have measuring with angles. The stage rotates a full 360 degrees. The unit is very heavy. This is a solid steel plate. The head can be raised and lowered depending on the size of the specimen. This frame can also be lowered at this junction, raised and lowered. I don't think a person would want to have it higher. I think it really should be left at this position and just rotate it as needed. I'll show an LED illumination. One could take this off one could take off the LED and insert the mirror illumination. I wouldn't want the mirror illumination, I would always use the electric. But this, this metal bracket can be pulled off. At this point you want to tighten it down so it doesn't rotate out of the optical path. You want the light directly below the stage. So rotate everything so it's in place, including the head. Rotate the head so that it's right above the light. This is moving in the X direction. Total distance of travel would be 50 millimeters. It goes a little bit further than that, but using the scale, it goes from zero to 50 millimeters. This is your point where you're reading off how far you're traveling. Each of these is one hundredth of a millimeter. So starting at zero, it's one hundredth of a millimeter. That's two hundredths of a millimeter. Ten hundredths. Fifty hundredths, which is half a millimeter. Seventy-five hundredths, which would be three quarters of a millimeter. And all the way back to zero again would be one millimeter. That's one millimeter of travel. And you can also read off at this point one full revolution will advance in the X direction one millimeter across from zero to fifty millimeters. The stage rotation is similar. Zero all the way to 360 with one degree least count resolution. The Y direction has a maximum travel of about 14 millimeters. And it also travels in 0 0.01 millimeter re resolution. That's one one hundredth of a millimeter resolution. So I start at 0 
and I turn it just one click over, that's one one hundredth of a millimeter I've just traveled it. I've traveled in the Y direction. Another click, that's two hundredths of a millimeter, ten hundredths of a millimeter, twenty-five hundredths of a millimeter, that's a quarter of a millimeter, fifty, well, here's 45 all the way to zero. So when I get, get to zero, that's 50 hundredths of a millimeter equal to half of a millimeter revolution. Half of a millimeter in the Y direction travel. So I make another revolution, another complete revolution, to advance it a whole millimeter. So in that case, to advance in the Y direction, one millimeter, you make two, there's one, two total revolutions. And you can read off the millimeters, zero to 14 millimeters. You can see how much it's traveled. These are manual micrometers. As a glass stage, I still allow the light to come up from the bottom. Also has filters, three different filters. They simply fit into place on top of the line. Also has a 10x eyepiece, a 10x objective. I mean, this is a 2.5x objective that we show on it, without with an additional 10x. It can also be used. So the microscope comes with two objectives. It's a very sturdy and strong unit. That's all.